Welcome everyone. I hope you are having a fantastic October. It is about over. It goes fast. Today I will be sharing with you my October empties. As always, all of the items that I share with you will be linked in the drop down box below this video. They will also be on the corresponding blog post. Any outfit and beauty details will also be linked. Just a reminder, anything that I would not repurchase, I will indicate. We have a lot to go through, so let's get started. Starting with body care, we have a L'Occitane Delicious Soap. I just purchased three more of these. I cannot be without it. I also have an empty L'Occitane Shower Gel. These two are like peanut butter and jelly. They make a wonderful sandwich. I use the two hand in hand. I cannot be without either. I've talked about these many times in past videos. We also have a razor cartridge to go in my razor. I use this one up and I use the Mach 3 razor with cartridges. Another L'Occitane item that I already have, would recommend and repurchase is the L'Occitane Milk Concentrate. Absolutely love this. Another body product that I also love is the Brazilian Boom Boom or Bum Bum Cream, however you want to pronounce it. This is by Sol de Janeiro. This smells wonderful as well. I feel like it's a little bit more of a summer scent. Let me just share with you that there are going to be great gift sets coming out with this product in it. I would recommend that for holiday shopping. I would also recommend the Almond Collection. I will link one below. That's a great gift set. I get one every single year for Christmas. I have for many, many years. Definitely a great, great gift for some lady in your life. Moving into skincare items, I have the Sephora Waterproof Eye Makeup Remover. Definitely like this and would recommend it. And I have a Cleansing Balm by Clinique. This is called Take the Day Off. Do like it, would recommend it. It's a it is a good price point. I do have a video where I share my favorite cleansing balms. I will put that down below and I will also put it up here in the corner. There are a lot of great ones, but I would recommend. Cannot be without my Skin Medica HA5 Rejuvenator Hydrator. This is a splurge, but it is something that I continue to purchase. I already have another one. Moving into tooth care, I did get my teeth cleaned, so I replaced my toothbrush. I also have some Crest Complete Whitening with Scope. I, it's not my favorite toothpaste. There's a couple other ones that I like better. The Pro Namel is one of my favorite, but I didn't have any and my husband always stocks up on toothpaste, so I just grabbed a tube from him and used it till it was gone. I've already replaced my Opalescence Go. These are my teeth whitening strips. Use them today the last one, but I do have one on order of these kits. It's pricey, but this has been the best teeth whitening product that I have used. So if you want to see my teeth whitening video, I will link that as well and put it up here in the corner for you to watch. Moving into hair, I would repurchase every one of these. I probably already have one. This is the Joyco K-Pack Shampoo, fantastic. It's a 10 Miracle Styling Mousse, excellent one. I also love the Joyco. I will link both of them. I'm using the Joyco right now. Bedhead T-I-G-I After Party, been using this for forever fantastic product cannot be without it and you all know about my tresemme tray 2 hairspray i go through these like crazy i also have a video talking about my two hairsprays that i use that will be linked and it will also be up here as well i also have a living proof frizz conditioner this was sent to me by living proof to review i love all of living proof's hair care products i always have a shampoo and conditioner in my closet. I don't necessarily need the frizz one, but I did use it up. Moving into makeup, my lovely, lovely, one of my favorite foundations, Estee Lauder Double Wear Stay In Place Makeup. I have the shade 3N1 Ivory Beige. I feel like this may be getting a little bit dark for me uh, with not having any color, so I may have to pick up a lighter shade, but this is currently what I am using. I do have another one and it is what I am wearing today. Emptied two of my Essence Long Lasting Eye Pencils in the color Black Fever. These are only a couple bucks. I always have one in my on the go makeup case that I take with me when I leave the home and one in my makeup arsenal. I only use these for tight lining my upper water line. Will not be without them. Beautiful staying power. Emptied a container of Hollywood tape. Cannot be without this. 
I do have a video where I talk about little necessities that you have to have in your wardrobe. This is one of them, ladies, girls, whoever, don't be left without it. Keep one in your car. If you've watched my car caddy video, you know that I carry this with me at all times. I have one in the home, one in the car. I will link my car caddy video, and then I will also link my video where I do talk about the different necessities that every girl needs. You know I am not going to be without, <laughs> oh, every, every month, my Depends Silhouette Active Fit. I don't even know if these ones are active fit. I almost think they were out of the active fit, but they're basically the same. You know I need them for my workouts, so. They're always gonna be in my empties, what can I say? Yes, five. <laughs> Went through five zebra pens this past month. That's no surprise, love these. Also emptied a box of envelopes. Let's move into supplements. I have a B12, this is the sublingual kind. You put it under your tongue, you let it melt. We have some St. John's wort. Blood sugar support, I only take this when I am going to have a cheat meal, something from the standard American diet. I will link my supplements video down below. I will also put it up here. We have some Sammy Milk Thistle Extract CoQ10. Empty Dawn Dish Soap. This is what I use to wash my makeup brushes. I am really good about washing my makeup brushes. My foundation brush and my under eye concealer brush those get washed daily. Every time I apply makeup, as soon as I am done using those, I wash those because they are, they are coming in contact with liquid. My other brushes, I don't wash as often, but I will say I feel I have really good brush hygiene. I, I definitely wash my brushes often. I love parchment paper. I do not use a lot of aluminum foil when I am baking. It just depends on what it is, but I'm a parchment paper girl and I love the pop-ups. Parchment papers, I will never buy the roll anymore. This is the best. Emptied a box of stevia, that's no surprise, as I have a packet in each of my coffees in the morning. Moving into food. Now I emptied more containers than I am sharing here, but I want to talk about my eggs. These are all pasture-raised eggs. That is all I buy. I eat four eggs a day unless I'm on vacation or out of town or something like that. But I eat four eggs a day. I make avocado egg salad, but it's really important to me that they are pasture-raised. I don't look for cage-free, free-range, it can say that, but it has to be pasture raised. I have been following the keto diet, my version, and I recently did a what I eat in a day keto edition. If you have not watched that, you will want to see what I ate on keto. I will have that link down below and I will also link that video in the corner. If you do watch my what I eat in a day keto version, you will see these turkey burgers. I have a turkey burger a few days a week we buy the big box at our local Sam's Club and the smaller box you can get in your local grocery store. Love, love, love goat cheese. I will put goat cheese on top of my turkey burger, melt it with a little bit of green onion. It's so delicious, but I could put goat cheese on a lot of things. Another thing that you will see in my what I eat in a day is sometimes for a little treat, I will make one of these Quest pizzas because they do fall into the keto category. And sometimes I will doctor it up and add some other things like green onion, goat cheese, Parmesan cheese, whatever. That is one of the things I love about keto is you get to have a lot of cheese. I love cheese and I tolerate cheese. There's also the pepperoni version. I'm more of a cheese lover. I'm not a big pepperoni girl, but my husband likes this one. So sometimes he'll get one for him. He'll get one for me, but I do try to stick to only eating half of it and splitting it with someone because if you have the, the whole entire thing, it's going to really get you up there in calories. So always pay attention to your nutrition labels. Let's go over a few keto treats that I enjoy, and that's when Kirsten is not making me something. She is constantly making amazing keto desserts. She gets them out of a particular recipe book and I will have that cookbook linked below. It's also in my what I eat in a day video and including a couple recipes that she's gotten on Pinterest that were really good that are more of your desserts. And I've been, 
I will be honest with you, since doing keto, it's just a nice change. And again, not a lot changed from my diet when I went from how I normally ate, which really is more of a Mediterranean style diet, I would say, but I don't prescribe to any diet, so to speak. And even the keto, it's really my keto, it's my version, and I really encourage that. You know, find what works for you. Be careful when you're following all these hard rules. It can just be too restrictive. But I have indulged more implementing the keto type of eating with desserts. It's it's been really just a nice change and I think that is what I'm enjoying the most is just the change to break things up a little. Um, it doesn't give me really any different results but it doesn't matter. I'm just enjoying a little bit of variety in the change. I do enjoy the Quest bars a little bit. They're not phenomenal. This one here is chocolate chip cookie dough, pretty good. And this one is chocolate sprinkled donut. I really do like this one. And I will be honest, it really truly tastes like a chocolate sprinkled donut. So now if you're someone that can always taste that little bit of protein, when you, when you get some type of protein bar or shake and, and you just, you're sensitive to that flavor, you're probably not going to like these. I know some of my girls, they can just taste that protein type powder or whatever is in it and they're not fond of it. If you are one of those, then you may not like it. I for one don't recognize it and I, I like stuff like this. I bought two boxes of the Lily's dark chocolate. This one is crispy rice and this one is salted almond extra dark chocolate. The nice thing about these is they are keto because they are sweetened with, I believe, uh, maybe a stevia of some sort. Anyway, they, they're not sweet. They're, there's no sugar in them. So they're sweetened with other, or wait, there, I guess there is less than one gram. Okay. A little, a little tinsy sugar. But anyway, what I'm getting at is these will fall into keto. Now you don't want to eat the whole bar. It's just, if you want a little treat or sweet or chocolate, uh, sometime throughout the day, you could break off a couple of the little bars and eat those, but really good. Another treat that I have been enjoying is the Quest chocolate chip. You know I like my Lenny and Larry's cookie, the Snickerdoodle, which I'll link that, but uh, that doesn't fall into keto. These Quest cookies do, and you get to eat the whole cookie. This is one serving, where the Lenny and Larry's, that one you have to split up. Okay, Pips is just getting in the shower. So if all of a sudden you hear some noise, and I'll try to talk louder, that's Chloe. She's right above you <laughs> getting into the shower. Gotta love it. Just gotta love those kids, right? Who is with me? <laughs> Last but certainly not least, let's talk about a little wine, shall we? <laughs> this here is Estancia Vineyards Pinot Noir. Definitely recommend this bottle. Excellent wine, excellent Pinot, would make a great gift. It's going to fall between the $15 and $20 range, which is generally where I shop. There are a few wines that I do pick up that are around the $8 range, but, but the majority of them are between $15 and $20. This was uh, a bottle of wine that Amy and I had polished off when we did our last Wine Wednesday. And actually tomorrow we will be, uh, I, I believe, I believe this video is coming out either on a Monday or Tuesday. Well, anyway, we're getting ready to film again, and I'm not sure what wine we're gonna have, but it's probably going to be a red, but yes, definitely recommend this one. <laughs> yes, yes, and these are little boxes of wine. I have been enjoying these for years. It's by Black Box. You buy it right in the wine section, but if you want to ration yourself, in case you're afraid that if you get started having wine, you may end up drinking a whole bottle, so you, so you really kind of want to ration yourself. Here's my thing. If I am at home and I want to have a glass of wine and I don't have anyone to drink wine with me, if I open the bottle, I'm very tempted to finish it between that day and the next day. So let's say I open a bottle of wine on a Friday. I may have a couple glasses. I'm probably gonna polish that bottle of wine off on Saturday. I don't always want to do that and it's really just because drinking wine or alcohol at all can really affect our weight. Uh, it's hard for me to stay in my weight window when I am drinking a lot of wine. So I do try to stick to only 
having wine or a mixed drink when I go out and not drinking it in the home but it is college football season and NFL. And I would say that my wine drinking always picks up in the fall due to football. <laughs> we have to blame something, right? So anyway, this last month I have had five times that I have, have rationed myself with one of these boxes because this is not going to be as much wine as you would get in an entire bottle. I hope this is making sense. So it's nothing for me to open up a bottle of wine, let's say on a Saturday afternoon, and then over three, four hours, I will polish off the box. So it's about, I think, two and a half glasses of wine, which is really perfect. So yeah, definitely recommend these. It's a good Cabernet, very reasonably priced. And again, it will ration you. And, and, and that's what I'm looking for, is, is to be rationed with my wine. Well, there you go. October empties. I will be back the end of November with my empties for November. And uh, that will be, oh yeah, I don't know how that will work out because we will be getting into Christmas gift guides, but I will be sure to share my November empties. Don't forget everything is linked down below. Also on the corresponding blog post, everything I'm wearing, makeup, jewelry, top, all linked just for you. Thank you for joining me. I will see you soon in the next video. Take care.